Ah, El Renault City. Hey guys, it's Elk. Welcome to El Renault City. This is my favorite dungeon in El Sword as of late. And I think a lot of people can agree that this dungeon is just amazing. Do keep in mind you will need a um, an El Renault defense request in order to enter, so keep that in mind. Anyway, mutated supervisor of Nasalt Miners. Having a freakishly long name is this only guy's ability because he sucks. Don't worry about him. Mutated Moonstark, Fusion Arrow, can reverse your movement control, so don't get hit. Mutated Stone God has Reflective Shield, but it won't get to use it because it's so slow. Don't worry about him, he's not that bad. And the Freak Boys are back. And if you thought that monster cast was kind of big, well, we got some mini bosses for you too. Like the Mutated Ent. He's not that bad though. Mutated Durahan, however, he has a diverse move pool, so he can be kind of annoying. And this guy. He's back. Uh, I already talked about him, so I don't have much to say. And it's your boy Skin Splitter. He's back, like I said. He's got an extra skull because this guy, along with some other monsters, can be pretty dangerous. When, with that said, let's go into El Renote City. All right, guys. Here we go. This. Dungeon is actually no dungeon. It's a gauntlet and oh, it's so amazing <laughs> So it's up to us to kill as many enemies as possible because that will uh, determine your score and such And um, Well, I'm probably not gonna say too much in this uh, dungeon because I will try and try my damage to um, get as much kills as possible, so I apologize if the commentary is a bit uh, on the lackluster side. Anyway, with that said, let's try to kick some ass, shall we? So here is one of many mini-bosses, uh, Durahan Knight, which is not that bad. He has a few movesets which can be annoying, he can guard, which is why I gave him like 3 hearts, health-wise, you know? Oh, and here's the other guy, and Skin Splitter already joined. His system works a little bit different. Um, as me and Vivid um, get like 70 kills, that's when um, this guy will spawn. Um, and now we need to get 180 to get the next Skin Splitter, so that's kind of how it works. Um, so the second bar is for your cell, that's uh, when you spawn one of the lesser mini-bosses, which is uh, Durahan Knight, Ent, and um, the uh, Freak Defender. Oh gosh. There we go, perfect. I'm doing kinda meh, but not too terrible. And there we go, not bad. Need to use my buff more. As you can see, this dungeon is really um, chaotic. <laughs> you really need to keep killing because this, this, this dungeon, I guess, will still kick your ass if you're not prepared. Oh, will it kick your ass. <laughs> Because you will get overwhelmed if you're going with a rather decent party, you know? And you won't be able to kill the things you see right now. Because Skin Splitter will be there, most likely a mini boss will be there, and a lot of enemies, and I just got confused, so my controls are reversed, but I'm not letting that get in the best of me. Alright, next Skin Splitter in like a second, because Favorite is doing really well. Just a reminder, that guy is a plus nine. <laughs> and like I said in my run video, um, a innocent is a good class. It's a really good class, I recommend it. And this video will hopefully show you why. <laughs> so this is kind of my tactic, you know, I go from side to side and then fire my um, plasma cutter. Sometimes a tank, 
if I want to kill something like a mini boss real fast, like that guy just now. Oh man, am I really doing that terrible? Gosh. Oh wow, that was me pressing the wrong dang key. Alright. Alright. That skin splitter down. But yeah, this dungeon is really amazing for farming EXP, farming L tiers, um, farming uh, the force skill, because it's so rewarding. The only downside, of course, is that you will need those tickets, and those tickets can go for like 7 mil to 10 mil each. So yeah, there's a little investment you have to do. But regardless of that fact, it's still a really, really good dungeon just to play and have some fun, you know? And my song ended, so that means I got 10 more seconds until we get uh, teleport to the boss, because you get 5 minutes precise. Oh, can I kill the skin splitter? Can I kill him? Yes. I got him. 204 kills. Above 200 is great if you can do it, so I did pretty alright. Now, skin split. Um, actually, there, what can I say about this guy? He's a solid, great boss. He can be very difficult if you uh, don't have party buff. But um, yeah, this is, um, or this was, should I say. That was um, Spatial Reaper. <laughs> Jesus, I don't know why that name escaped me. Anyway, uh, that was the end of the episode, guys. Um, a shorty, but yeah. Me and my friend will go into Gator Darkness, so I will see you guys next time.